Number one is legacy of power. He won the Adios when Dreamaway was disqualified for interference. Rough first over trip, last out in the $500,000 Hoosier Cup. Looking to rebound here. Number two, True Charmer, is David Miller's horse in this race. He raced very well at the uh, Illinois State Fair at DeCoin, 151 and 3. He was timed at in the Hayes. That makes him a contender. Southwest Art, the three horse, Bob McIntosh ships him down from Canada, son of Art's Place, who Bob trained as a four-year-old, winner of his last two, a uh, big effort from the nine hole in his last. He looks like he could be serious. Number four, a long shot, such a hoot. Uh, the driver is Mark O'Mara. He was also last seen at the Illinois State Fair, but finished a, uh, a, a disappointing fifth. His time, though, not too bad, 151 and four. Number five, Noble Ability. Could be a sleeper in here. Hasn't faced some of these biggies, but has been consistent. All right, number six is uh, Let's Rock. He certainly likes this track and uh, raced very well, winning quite easily in 154, but he'll have to lower that by two seconds. Bren Reaper, Dave Rankin trains and drives. He said he might be a little overmatched here, and I, I tend to agree with him. And number eight is Megamind. This is the favorite in the race, second at the coin in the haze, uh, and from the nine hole, and here tonight has the eight hole. Question I would have is whether Mega Mind or True Charmer can race on a five eighths mile track because they have done their racing at longer distances. I think the drawback to Mega Mind, Joe Holloway says that he lacks that closing punch, can go with any of them. See if he can overcome it here. All right, for the call of the race here is Robin Burns. And there they go. They're off and pacing Southwest Dart. Between horses takes the lead, Noble Ability charging up on the outside, second, Legacy of Power on the rail, third, they're down the back stretch. True Charmer moves in to be fourth, such a hoot. Megamind the late levers up on the outside, followed by Let's Rock and Grin Reaper. Quarter pole bound, Noble Ability leads away by two. Southwest Dart is in the second by the opening quarter in 27 and two fifths. Racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Easily in command of the field right now, Noble Ability. Noble Ability's got the top by two. Southwest Dart is in the second. Here's True Charmer to start the action from mid-pack third. Such a hoot moving up on the outside. Legacy of power, the fifth in box. Megamind has been parked every step of the way. He now has live cover. And the local horses trail, Let's Rock and Grin Reaper at the half in 56 and 2. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Noble ability, three parts of a length. Here comes True Charmer, wheeling up on the outside, second. Staying in the pocket, Southwest Art to third. Such a hoot is up on the outside. Legacy of power, Megamind, Let's Rock and Grin Reaper, seven are side by side. And stride for stride, racing by three quarters in one, 23 and four. Around the far turn, Noble Ability. True Charmer is in the center. Southwest start along the rail. Megamind's got his mind on business now. Little more than an eighth of a mile to drive. They're on their way home. Southwest Art comes off the rail, drives up on the outside, explodes in a command. Southwest Art now gets the lead. Noble Ability second, Legacy of Power third. Southwest Art in Division Two. 151 and one, and that sets uh, that sets a record that had been uh, previously set by Oy Vey last year at 151 and two. And what an effort! He looked like he was a little bit rocky. It looks like Mike was afraid to really turn him loose, so no telling how much he could pace. Big, big effort out of noble ability, also. And Anna, and I'll be right back with the final division. Of